Hello everyone, my name is Kyung Jae Lee. In this video, I'll be introducing the group chat application I've developed using the client-server model, TCP IP socket programming concepts, and multi-threading technique. To help you understand this application better, I'll first give you the high-level description of the system, second, do a quick run-through of the source code that implements the server and the client, and third, perform a live demonstration that will give you a clear idea how this application actually works. Without further ado, let's move on to the system overview. As the name suggests, it's basically a group chat application. You can think of it as a primitive version of WhatsApp where there is only one chat room open for everybody. The server allows multiple clients to connect and send messages back and forth between them. The way the server implements this functionality is that when a client sends a message to the server, the server broadcasts that message to all the clients that are connected to it. This logic is implemented in an infinite loop, so as long as the server is up and running and the client stays connected to the server, this process will keep on going. Now, let's take a look at the code. Before we move on, I want to make a quick note about the source code. I've chosen C programming language not only because I felt comfortable with it, but also because I wanted to get my hands on the POSIX thread or pthread libraries. And as socket related system calls are OS dependent, I chose Linux as the target operating system. Part of the reason for this decision was because I wanted to set up a dedicated server on Raspberry Pi which runs Linux. Obviously, the development environment had to be Linux. The code was fully written, compiled, and tested on Ubuntu Linux operating system using Vim Editor, GNU Compiler Collection, and GNU Debugger. Alright, moving on. Here on the left side of the screen, I pulled up the server program. This program is structured just like any other typical TCP server programs. It creates a server socket, accepts multiple clients to connect, and provides them service in an infinite loop. Okay, let's see how it is implemented. Here's our main function. So first we create a TCP socket, then we create an internet socket address structure where the server IP address and the port number will be stored and bind the server's address information to the server socket we've created and convert the socket to listening socket. Inside this infinite while loop, the server socket accepts a connection request from the client, adds the connected client's information to the list of clients it maintains, and creates a thread that will serve the client. How each client is getting served is implemented inside this thread function called serveClient. And I'm going to go through this function in detail in a moment. Please note that multi-threading technique has been used to serve multiple clients concurrently. And mutex has been used around the critical sections to synchronize the threads. Back to our code. Um, the server prints the connected client's IP address to the screen and goes back to the beginning of the while loop to get ready for the next accept activity. Now, what's happening inside this thread function called serve client? It's right here. What it basically does is that it repeats receiving the message from the client and broadcasting that message to all the clients that are connected. This while loop will break when the client disconnects and the server will remove that client's information from the list of clients that it maintains. Then as the final step, the client socket will be closed and the whole thread will be terminated. So this is how the server program of the group chat application is implemented. Now let's move on to the client program. The client program is rather simple. All it does is that it creates a TCP socket, sends messages to the server, receives messages from the server, and prints them to its own screen. That's it. Alright, so 
Here's our main function. Okay, so first we create a TCP socket, then we create an internet socket address structure, where again, the server IP address and the port number will be stored. Note that this structure contains server's information, not the client's. It is because the client needs to know to which server it is going to make the connection request. Then we establish the connection with the server. Once the connection has been established, Client's main threads creates two worker threads to carry out send and receive operations respectively. So what do these send and receive message thread functions do? Let's take a look at the send message function first. It basically repeats taking input from the keyboard and sending it to the server until the user enters Q to signal the disconnection. Moving on to receive message function, this time, it repeats receiving message broadcasted by the server and printing it out to the screen. This will go on as long as the server is running and the client stays in connection. This is really all there is to it. I hope I've been able to give you an idea how the server and client programs of the group chat application are written.